morning because I have to go and make up my gastric bypass class that I missed last week from hurting or from having my surgery an hour and a half this morning and then I have to go to my regular class tomorrow night and an hour and a half tomorrow night can we say I'm gonna have a fun day So, I guess you're thirsty. Huh? See any tongue coming out? You're practically walking in that bowl. <sighs> you're just too cute. Okay, so it's already been a long day. I've been putting stuff on eBay all day. It takes a long time to, to do that stuff. At least it does me. So we've been waiting all day for a phone to show up for Megan, because hers got broken, so but it was short insured. And we got a new one today. She does she wants to upgrade, so now we're taking it to be upgrade. And we're all going because um, Val's phone has been acting up and I want them to look at hers, maybe. Is yours on the Edge program too? Yes, mine is on the Edge program too. So maybe we'll end up with a new phone for you too. My phone doesn't seem to ring all of the time now, and I was waiting for a phone call from Kaiser about switching my gastric bypass classes, and I took a nap, and Kevin left the phone with Kevin because if it rang, it wouldn't have woken me up, and they called and Kevin never heard the, heard the phone ring so it's not the first time that it's done this hopefully um, they can do something about it right now although right now I'm hearing text messages come across where when it acts up I don't get any noises so of course when we get there it's not going to act up of course not so Okay, so we figured out what was wrong with my phone. It was really, really broken. Okay, so like Skype or... It was really broken? Yeah, it was. was. I think the user was broken. <laughs> the user is broken, <laughs> see? So you had it on the wrong setting. <laughs> yes, I messed up somehow, because I don't know all the settings on these phones. Do you know all the settings on your phone? I barely know how to use it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know all the settings on the phone, and I had it set to do not disturb. So, even my doctor's office could not disturb me. <laughs> that's right. We, is there a setting for disturbed? <laughs> well, that's just me in general. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we should put my ringtone to disturbia. <laughs> right. Hi, baby. Hey, sweetums. What you doing? Eating tacos. Eating tacos. I'm going to have some chicken, but I'm going to make it into a taco. Pollo Loco, stop making french fries. Well, Kevin's very upset. I like their french fries. Yes, they had good french fries. I'm sorry they stopped making french fries. I'm going to complain. Who are you going to complain to? The chicken. Can I fries your chicken? Yeah. Hurt my arm. <laughs> Hello, everybody. And do you know what April 21st, 2015 will be? I don't know. What is it? Our one year anniversary on YouTube. Yay. 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 Be more excited! It's better! Right. <laughs> so, it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! You only have 
one shout out and then we're going to talk about whether you're a nerd or not. Nerd. Asian Tiger 513, welcome to the neighborhood and thank you for sharing our video. It's very nice of you. Oh. We like that. Okay, so my question yesterday is, are you a nerd? What kind of nerd are you? Because apparently there's lots of different types of nerds. And are you proud to be a nerd? Tanya Longley wants to know if watching the Big Bang Theory makes her a nerd. What do you think? Watching it? Depends on why you watch it. I would just have to say yes, Tanya. Not yes. only because you watch the Big Bang Theory, but I grew up with you. And I know you, my dear, are a nerd. And you should be proud of it. I watch it for Kelly Kuko, so... I watch it because I relate to Sheldon, because I am, like, I am Sheldon. <laughs> Angie Lupus Life says she is a YouTube nerd, nerd. She watches The Flash and Gotham, and she's very proud of it. So, Angie Lupus Life, yes, you are a nerd. Jay, the Cannabis Explorer, watches The Flash, Gotham, and Arrow. Jay... You are a nerd. Crimson Fairy. She's a book-loving, sci-fi-loving, math, and she left out Harry Potter. <laughs> nerd. Crimson Fairy, you are a nerd. <laughs> Melody Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80. She's a, she put a computer nerd and Disney nerd. I think they're reversed. She's more of a Disney nerd, I would have to say. Um, so, Melody, you are a nerd. Brandon Windsor, psychic, or psychic, physics. <laughs> physics, astronomy, earth science, comic books, video games, and much more. Brendan, you are a nerd. Cole today has everything Star Trek. She is a Star Trek nerd. Cole, you are a nerd. I love this answer. I love my singing monsters. He is a nerd because he likes to get good grades in school and he only hangs out with friends in school that also gets good grades. So I love my singing monster. You are a nerd. Bambi S says she's not sure if she's a nerd or not, but she watches YouTube all the time. Bambi, you are a nerd. Fud64, same thing. She's not sure if she's a nerd or not. Bambi, I mean Fuds, you are a nerd. And Terry Johnson, she says she is not a nerd. However, she looked up the definition of the word nerd. Terry, you are a nerd. <laughs> anyway... Are you a nerd? I am a nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm proud of it. Are you a nerd? I know. He used to be a band geek is what they, they used to say. But are you a nerd? Yeah, I would have to say so. Yes. I think he's a nerd. So, and he's okay. proud. Are you proud of it? Yeah. They're, they're the, nerds are the most interesting people to, to hang out with. So, because I'm wondering if uh, Norman Reedus is a nerd. Norman Reedus, if you're watching this, <laughs> are you a nerd? <laughs> yeah, he's watching this. Watches us every day. So does Kelly Kuko. <laughs> Kelly Kuko, are you a nerd? <laughs> anyway, we're rambling. My question for tonight is, very weird, but what do you have under your bed? Dust bunnies. How do you know they're dust bunnies? They told me. <laughs> okay, the dust bunnies are talking to him now. Okay, now we're getting into some serious issues. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. It's about time. Well, you kept talking. 
You wouldn't stop. I mean, all, all right. the time. Last night's trivia question was Slitherer from 2006, which is a horror comedy which Val thought was absolutely disgusting, which means I should make her watch it again tomorrow. Um, and the question was, can you name all the references, or any of the references? I think I asked for five. I mean, there's got to be 30 or 40. I think they spent more time trying to, to create references than actually filming the movie. There's that many references. And I'm not going to even go into them, because there's too many of them. If you want to see them, just read these comments from these individuals who got it. Terry Johnson, Greg Myers, Tanya Longley, Van B.S., and Dave Nichols. I always love those kind of questions. I always love watching those movies over and over again just to see all the references. Easter eggs, they call them on your show. Okay, so tonight's going to be on another really interesting movie. It's called Session 9 from 2001. It was actually filmed at Danvers State Hospital. It's this giant gothic building in the middle of Massachusetts. And uh, it's supposed to be very, very haunted. The movie was filmed there. And um, the question is a silly question. Um, the director, writer named Brad Anderson wrote something on one of the tunnels in, at Danvers. What did he write? No exit. <laughs> Do your thing. Do my thing. Do your thing. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. We thank you all very much. We love you all so, so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out all our other stuff. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we will see you guys all tomorrow. Make sure you watch our original tag coming to you tomorrow. Hey, delicious. Bye. Bye.